your back brown for a, a cuppa and a bicky. A better one than a rich tea. Yeah, yeah, hopefully this will be. So, um, as you can see, um, we, we, we've we got a little little selection. We've, <laughs> yeah, got we a, we've got a lot of biscuits. We have a lot of biscuits. Um, they're technically all the same, um, but, but different. different. <laughs> so today, we thought we would try to find the ultimate chocolate digestive flavour. Because, I mean, you know, we've, we've all had digestives and um, they, they, they just miss a little something. But um, they're called digestives because they were actually developed by two doctors in 1839. Uh, to aid digestion. Um, they, they did have, in their recipe, they had um, bicarbonate of soda, and we all know how great that is for heartburn and trap wind and things like that. So, you know, they, 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 they thought that was, that was really good. Um, so, McVitie's got wind of this and uh, went into production in 1892. And apparently this has been the most popular flavour or popular recipe of digestive ever since and um, apparently I don't know why this is just the normal plain digestive in 2009 it was rated the fourth most dunkable biscuit I don't think it was the most enjoyable biscuit so I can understand and let's let's think about the um, the, the misfortune we had with the uh, dunking <laughs> um, rich tea biscuits previously so um, that, was, that was sad. Despite being <coughs> listed as deliciously dunkable, wasn't it? Yes. So these will, hopefully, we've got our tea and our coffee back up again. So hopefully, this will be it. We've also, so let's have a look. So we've got dark chocolate and whatever. Oh, that's good for your digestion and your blood pressure. You've got the milk chocolate, the white chocolate. That was previously a limited edition or a special release but it seems to be back now. The new limited edition gold bar digestive. The new seriously chocolatey triple chocolate one. I don't know what makes it triple, but we'll, we'll get into that later. And then the caramel one. So hopefully we've got the full... The full range. The full range of... Um, it's short. That's quite a lot of chocolate biscuits to get through. So what is our ometer this time round? Because obviously with the jammy dodgers, we have the dammy jammy dommy dodger momometer. The da jammy dodger momometer. Yeah. So what is this? I'm not clear. I haven't. I'll think about it as I'm going The digestometer. Oh, I don't like that. That sounds like you're making poo. Oh, these will make us poo. Well, this is true. I'll have a think. We'll have a think. Have a think. Okay, so have you got any any thoughts as to how this is going to pan out? Well, will it end up being like one of these is going to be the ultimate original? Because these two were technically these are these are the old, long-standing original and the best ones. I've I've got an open mind and I'm going to see where it takes us. Is there anything that we are going to rate these on? Flavour, dunkability, general pre general sort of wet and dry. <laughs> So your general feeling on your on how you feel about it as a biscuit. Okay. Would you buy it again? Okay. As as McVitie say, you have to go a long, long way to find a better biscuit. Um. So I think let's let's start with dark chocolate. You don't like dark chocolate. Not a do you? fan. So these are eighty-three calories a piece. Have to see if we've won a a what's name. 83 calories per biscuit. So, <clears throat> I, I seem to have, I don't know what that is on mine. I think it's an imprint of my biscuit. It looks like fungus. Well, do you want to swap biscuits? I will go and pick another one out. McVitie's, what's that? It just looks like air bubbles. 
it looks like a fungal infection. It looks like warts. I'll have, I'll have to see this. You're gonna have to, you're gonna take the warty one. It looks a bit bloomy as well. This is true. Right, okay. So the dark chocolate digestive. So I'm gonna have a have a dry piece. Yeah. Tastes it, just like a dark chocolate biscuit. It does sweeten the um the biscuit a bit. Um I've never been a fan. My parents used to buy the dark chocolate ones and it was the only time we used to have chocolate biscuits. I do like those dunks. That is a good dunk. It is. And it means that you can put it in long enough to get enough liquid into the biscuit. Without it falling off. Without it actually falling off. So, where does that stand on a... On a scale of digestive to depresso, no, that's not a good one, is it? Digestive to, I don't know. I'm not a clue. You, you just keep... So currently, these are in first place. Whee! Nip, 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 nip. Okay. So actually, we'll, we'll put those down that end. I think that's first place. Because it turns everything around. I made that mistake the other day with the milk kiss. Uh, right, okay. Milk chocolate digested. Again, 83 calories. So the quality of the chocolate, the type of the chocolate hasn't... For you. Oh. So yeah, a standard milk chocolate biscuit. Chocolate feels a bit thicker. Yeah. Doesn't taste much different to be fair. I'm not getting much chocolate flavouring though, dry. Do you need another to settle the Again, nice donkey biscuit. You got its shape. You got a bit of a wobble on that end though, didn't you? No. Okay. A bit of a wobble is fine, but it still held its shape. Okay. So, milk chocolate versus dark chocolate. Where are you sitting? I mean, I will always prefer milk chocolate to dark chocolate anyway. So this is really you're you're more of an impartial. I think I prefer the milk. Okay. Just in case Dr. McGlone's watching, um, because he brings milk and dark chocolate digestives to work. Well, Dr. McGlone needs to watch this because he will learn what the mo what the ultimate, the best, uh, the best flavour is. We, we very much appreciate him bringing the biscuits to work. We're very grateful to him. I think we're even even more. Uh, aren't you even more appreciative when Mrs. McGlone? Bakes a cake. Mrs. McGrone does make very good cake. Okay. But I would say milk chocolate over dark at the moment. Okay. So. But could there be a new biscuit in this offering? So, white chocolate, it is described as smooth and creamy. Okay. These are only 78 calories. However. So they're better for the waistline. They're smaller. Oh, that's why they're less calories. Less calories. Yeah, because your packets are but 266 grams and mine's 232. I mean, that's not a lot divided by, what, 15, 20 biscuits. I don't think, I don't think it says how many are in one. Oh, no. tap a, I've got 15 in mine and you've got, oh, differences and biscuits. <laughs> so only two. There you go, sir. If we've learned this much. So, you can see... You the can chocolate is definitely thick. It is, but you can see the biscuit through it. Oh, I think the biscuit's thicker as well. Oh, no, I do like white chocolate. But it can be a bit sickly, which makes me think, is that why it's smaller? Maybe. 
goes very nice to a black coffee though. Does it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go in with that. Holds its shape. So much better than rich teas. It is smooth. It is. And it's not sickly. I mean, I will always knock. I, I would say they're my first place biscuits. So they're your first place biscuits? I would put these down this end. Okay, okay. It's only a matter of time before these fall off the table, I think. Yeah. However, I, I, I've got a good feeling about the next one. Okay. This is a brand new limited edition version. Yes, it is. We like the original biscuit. We do. I think it's an underrated one. But this is this is a gold bar version. So let's have a look. 15 in a packet, 232. So they, they're, they're the same size as the as the white chocolate ones, but these are 80 calories a piece. Okay. So the difference here is is it it's the gold bar chocolate, but it's not a gold bar biscuit. Yeah. Oh, these these are a little softer. Oh dear, the chocolate has yeah got slightly warm. It is a caramelly, burnt, blonde chocolate, whatever we're calling it these days. It looks thicker. It does look thicker. It's softer. Oh yeah, look, I can peel it off. It does actually taste like a gold bar, though. I am impressed. Mm. Yeah. Though I don't think I dunk that for long enough. Do you need to go in for another dunk? I don't think I need to. I'm slightly sceptical about dunking biscuits after the rich tea saga. I mean, hands down, these these are these are my first place biscuit. Oh yeah. Yeah. One accidentally fell out. I'll have to leave Oh it. dear. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Quick battery change. <laughs> Thanks for sticking by on that one. We haven't eaten anymore. We've stayed we've stayed true to you guys. So we we, we left out the gold the gold chocolate being the best. Every oh. biscuit we've had has got better and better it's and just better. It's been knocked. Better. Yeah. So will the triple chocolate one knock the gold bar off? So 15 in a packet, 250 grams, 83 calories per biscuit. So you'll want two, won't you? So these are milk chocolate, aren't they? Oh, but the dough is different. No, it's so it says cocoa flavoured wheat meal biscuits with dark chocolate chips, half coated in milk chocolate. So it's got a bit of that, a bit of that. Okay. So that's why it's a triple chocolate because it's got chocolate chips in as well. I think you've shown them the biscuit, haven't you? I think there's too much chocolate. I like the consistency or the like the, the extra sort of bite you get with the chocolate chip in it though. But then the dark chocolate flavour comes through. I would call that my number two. I could go with number two. So the fact that it says new on the packaging would lead me to believe that these are um, a new full-time member. Yes. 
That is my understanding. But hopefully, if people ca uh, carry on and complain and m m hound McVitie's, the gold bars might be the best. Maybe. Right. So this is our last one, isn't it? This is the last one. It's the caramel one. Now this is interesting from a dunk perspective because you've got another texture. So will the chocolate just fall off the caramel? Who knows? Uh, 80 calories a piece, 15 in a packet, 250 grams. So you're going to get a bit of a chew with this, aren't you? Hopefully, although it's quite warm. Are you going to get cheese, Paul? Oh, yes. Oh, that oh, is... It's chewier than I was expecting. Oh, my. Yes, Now, mate. see, dunking, you've got a problem. You need to dunk it long enough for the caramel to get soft but short enough for the biscuit not to fall apart. I like the chewy. Can that be done? Yeah. Oh, <gasps> Nearly lost my biscuit then. It fizzes. Mine did. Mine's not. Oh, did you have a crack maybe? Maybe. It possibly there was some air escaping from inside the biscuit. So yeah, that's firm. Yeah, but the caramel's way hard. Well, I'm gonna lose the biscuit anymore. Oh no. Oh no. There's something a little cardboardy about it, but I do like the chew. I'm not a massive dunker. That's, that's disappointing. I've got real high hopes for the caramel one, but... I'd still call that my number two. Oh no. Um, uh, do I like it more than the white one? Probably. I could be happy with three. You could be happy with three. Could you be happy with third? Yeah. So there we have it. The Gold Digestive is our number one biscuit, followed by your triple chocolate one, your caramel one, white chocolate, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate. We, I have to say, these aren't bad biscuits, it's just that everything else is better. They're just boring, aren't they? They are a bit. Yeah, so... You know, You've gone through a lot of tea. Yeah. And now I'm going to have an everything biscuit. Oh, I did wonder what those were for. I think I'm gonna... is, is your mouth big enough? No, I don't think it is. I'll carry on talking for a while because it's going to take you <coughs> about three to five minutes to chew through that, I think. Is there any other flavours of chocolate digestive that we've missed? Have you got flavours that you think we should be looking at? Some... I'll put a translation down here somewhere, it's fine. I think, I think we've got a good range here. We've got some of the original ones, we've got some brand new ones. And I think we've got a fairly good mixture of what people have in their staff rooms. I'm still chewing, aren't you? What is the overwhelming feeling from your biscuit of biscuits? There's a lot of caramel. Even though the biscuits were all the same size? Pretty much, yeah. And it only makes up one-sixth of your biscuit. But it's quite... 
it's a good chew because actually it's binding the biscuit together because it was quite dry for a minute. But there's not an overwhelming flavour. Okay. Really. No. I think that's probably a good point to say goodbye. Yeah. We're going to... It's very hot, very warm here. So we don't want our chocolate to melt. No. But, um, yeah. If we well, find any more chocolate digestives, we'll probably do a follow-up to this. Because apparently there's another flavour of Jammy Dodger, so, you know, we've oh, got our... It? Yeah. <laughs> Not another one. So, yeah. Well, um, we'll see you next week. Bye, lovely, bye!